Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Do you see me well? Yeah. Welcome to the class. I hope you're ready for today's class. Um, yeah. Did you eat anything before coming to the class? Yeah. What did you eat? Um, Maggie. Very nice. Very good. Chalo, abhi hum class shuru karenge. Um, in today's class, I'm going to teach you about decimals. All right, decimals are extremely important to learn. You know, if you want to be good with real life scenarios, because we use decimals in currency. That means with money, with time. I already told you some of the benefits, right? So we are going to dive into the topic. And if we have enough time, we are also going to solve some word problems. Right, Anna? Yeah. Yes. First of all, let me know what do you know about decimals? Um, so, decimals, um, they are important in maths and they cover all areas. So, um, even you can have word problems and um, you can add decimals, multiply decimals, subtract decimals and add. Um, uh, so you can do all of these things and they have a decimal point in them which separates um, which separates um, one column to, to another column. Very nice. What else? Uh, and they um so there are there are type of whole number. As well. What are called whole numbers? Um so whole numbers are numbers which are not um you know like fractions and they're just one number. Whole. All right. Can you tell me the difference between whole numbers and natural numbers? Natural numbers um, are zero to um, nine mm -hmm. and um, whole numbers are one to nine. Okay. Who told you this? Is it correct? I will be telling you, but let me know who told you this. Um, so before I used to have a different tuition, but now I switched. So I think, yeah, I got to know from that. All right. So whatever you said, that is uh, incorrect, right? Okay. If I talk about whole numbers, you have to start counting from zero, not for natural numbers. Whole oh, so numbers. The opposite, yeah. yeah, the opposite uh, thing that you said. All right. Zero to infinity. Again, natural numbers start with one to infinity. Okay. All right. Not only for uh, one to nine or zero to nine. You can have numbers. All right. Yeah. Fine. Very good. Before that, Arna, can you talk about the rules of the class? Um. So ask your um. Ask the teacher. Um, before you turn off your camera and um, be in a silent place and um, and don't talk over the teacher. About notebook and pen or pencil to write it down? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So are you ready with your notebook? Very nice. Make sure you write a one side map and another side signs. Don't merge them together. Right, fine. What we were discussing in our last class, our last class was science class, right? We were discussing about cells, and um, we got to touch the topic of um, skeletal system. Great. Can I ask you a few questions about the things that you have learned in your last class? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me know the function of epithelial cell. Um, 
the function is uh, actually you know those are the cells which form surface over organs right fine then what else hmm what about the function of endothelial cell you didn't tell me that i told you right so endothelial cell or cells are cells that we get in the heart i mean oh you know in the arteries the surface of arteries heart blood vessels i told you right no you didn't tell me this one i have taken example of circulatory system there i have asked you to tell me the circulatory system parts and you told about the three parts then i said you know this acts as a layer or surface of these three parts okay no problem remember okay endothelial cells are the cells which are act as the layer of heart arteries okay that means and it you know make sure about the good blood flow right fine uh, now tell me about skeletal system what are the functions of skeletal system um so it gives shape to our body it right. gives us uh support to the body so we can stand erect and it protects the vital internal system you can simply oh, oh. understand okay no need to by heart i never ask you to tell the same thing that you have in your notebook right so try to so, understand yeah so it protects it, it, our internal organs simply it protects it, our it organs it protects our organs as we have a layer on it yes i have already given you a few examples as well so simply remember skeleton or skeletal system protect our internal organs or you can simply say organs no need okay. to by heart i never want my students to by heart all right anna very yeah. nice do you have any doubts regarding the things that we have discussed in the last class no no okay can you name uh, some cells that we have in our body some cells um so bone cells red blood cells white blood cells platelets um muscle cells sex cells fat cells um and nerve cells um uh endothelial cells um uh, epithelial cells very nice very good what about nerve cells what is the function of nerve cells so um the function of our nerve cells is to to give blood to our body no dear nerve cells um are the cells which sends and receives the signals in our body okay all right as i have already explained to you that we have three different types of nerves sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves sensory yeah. nerves are the nerves which uh, you know takes signals from organs and send to the brain and spinal cord okay motor nerves are the nerves that take signals from the brain and spinal cord and sends to the different parts or different organs of the body okay okay sensory nerves are the rivers of motor nerves when you mix together then you can get the third one that is mixed nerves 
okay the mix of sensory and motor right arna are you getting me so yeah. you have to remember the function of nerve cells they sends and receives signals okay. all right fine any more doubts i will be asking you some questions even in coming classes be well prepared about the things that we have discussed okay okay, okay. fine so now yes we will start today's talk okay that is just for us open your math book that is math side write down today's date that is 14th of october 2021 and write down your heading as just for us we um i what's the date 14th of october okay thank you um what's the um the title is decimals yes we have completed fractions and you're going to get a test from me soon i'm not sure like when you will get it but uh, by the end of sunday definitely we get your test on wise right by the end of saturday or sunday all right any more doubts you don't have any doubts right no okay i taught you about what are called decimals can you just explain the definition of decimals do you remember i taught you if you want you can also refer your notebook for reference if you have yeah so um decimal so if you have like 4.5 the 4 will be the whole number the decimal will be the decimal point and the 5 will be the fractional part Very so that's nice. example of the parts that's correct you know decimal number you're going to get whole number part decimal point and fractional part now i'm going to write a number on the screen and i want you to read out the decimal number and make sure you read properly because you have already learned about this all right here you go 324.78 See again you're committing mistake here 324.78 Pardon me 324.78 Okay So we are all right Anna now listen to me Just now we have discussed about the advantages of learning decimals which are really important for our measurements if you want to measure the length of anything again you use decimals there isn't it for length for time for money isn't it so those all are the advantages if i talk about the definition just now you said the definition i think you're clear with the definition right in doubt no advantages are done definition is completed now the reading a decimal number i told you a lot of times you can just read the whole number part normally as we do like 324 but mm -hmm. the numbers that you get up to this whole point you have to read them individually not this part not whole number part only fractional part okay. all right arna yes. i already told you before but it's completely all right make sure you remember this okay now i'm going to write one more number i want you to read perfectly Four forty-four point two. Two. 
Okay. Take your own time, but make sure you read properly. Three thousand eight hundred and two point three two. So this is what you have to remember. You yeah. have to read numbers individually, which are there in the fractional part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, writing and decimal number. Right here, decimal number. For example, right? So here I have written a decimal number, isn't it? I'm not going to read out this decimal number. I will be reading later, but now I want you to write down the decimal number which is there on the screen in words. In words, all right? Not in words, in words. Yes. Can I do it on the screen? No, I want you to do in your notebook. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. Can yeah. you read out? Forty-two point ninety eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Sorry. Forty-two point eighty-nine. It's correct. All right. So you have to write this as point. Mm hmm. Don't get confused, Arna. Be relaxed. Be calm. All right. You know all the answers. I know that. Because you have already learned. You will be seeing. But the thing is, you are being a bit excited. <laughs> you can be excited in the class. It is completely all right. I want you to be excited. But yeah, sometimes you have to just control yourself to say correct answers. <laughs> all right. Be relaxed. I know you can do it. Great. So now, what are the topics that we have completed in decimals in today's Reading, class? Decimal and writing a decimal. Reading, writing, definition, advantages. Okay. What else? Yeah. We will go with operations now. And then we will be covering the other topics. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me tell you um, the topic that is... Conversion of decimals into fractions. Conversion of decimals into fractions must be your side head. Okay, Anna? Yeah. yeah. Can Version of decimals hmm. Can you convert this decimal number into fractions? 3 over 25. Let me write down your answer. 3 over 25? Wait, no, no. That's not the answer. Okay. Uh,
Any idea? Okay. Fine. So here we have 3.25 as a decimal number. We have to convert this decimal number into fractions. What we can do? We can't write 3 over 25, isn't it? No. So what we have to do is... We have to write down the number without decimal point. If we remove decimal point, it will be 325 over. Okay, so now you have to count the decimal places. It means the numbers or the digits that you have after decimal point. You have two numbers. It means you have to write two zeros in the denominator along with the one. Okay. So this is how you have to convert. I think now you feel simple to convert. Yeah. Can I you write this in my book? Yeah, sure. You can do it. Okay. You have to focus on this places and you have to write, you know, those many zeros. Okay. As decimal places, okay? Let me write it down. Yeah, along with the one. Yeah, you can write it down and once you're done, let me know. Okay, done. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a question where you have to convert that decimal number into fractions, all right? Okay. Yes, convert this. 32.5. Three two five over three hundred and twenty five over ten. Three hundred and twenty five over ten. Yes, that's correct. Very nice, Arna. Very good. One last question under this topic. Yes, can work this. Okay, um, so four, four, uh, 
Conversion of fractions. Oh, I think I know. I think. Into decimals. If you know, that's really great. Just give me one example to be sure. So. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Okay, yeah. Shall we go? Yes. Okay. Same example. So 325 over 100. By looking at that, we can simply see the decimal number without dividing it. Yeah. I right. think I know what to do. All right. Can you tell me the answer to this question? Can I just work it out? You don't need to work out. You can just look and you can see the answer. Who needs to be white? Pardon me? 32.5. Is this your answer? Yes. Should we look? Uh, I... Yes. Okay. No, wait. Wait. I, I, oh, I think it's, uh, I, I think it's 3.25. Okay, but you said this is correct and you told me to lock the answer. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is incorrect the answer that you said later. That is correct. Because because if it was thirty two point five, it needs to be three twenty five over ten. That's correct. Then it will be thirty two point five. But it is three hundred twenty five over ten. But here you have that hundred. All right. Fine. Let me give you one more question. This time, I want you to be more attentive. <laughs> okay. Not be heedless. Okay. 425 over 1000. Okay. So that will be. Can I work it out? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Should I just round it to the two decimal places? Okay, I don't know. I just want you to do it. No more clues. Just give an attempt to this. What do you no, think? I mean, I mean, like, should I just um do the decimal place um and just do two digits after it, not keep on going? No need to divide again. Don't divide it. You can directly get your answer by looking at the fraction. 
the same technique that you have to apply to this question as well, but the, the technique that you have applied to the previous one. Okay, 0 0.42, 0 0.42, then with this number gone. Where I, this number has gone? Uh, wait, I think that's wrong. Yeah. Um, so I know this is a bit tricky. That is why I have given this to you. Zero point four two five. Zero point yeah. four two five. Can yes. you explain like how you got zero point four two five as your answer? Is it correct? Yeah. Let me know. I won't be saying. I'm here. I won't go anywhere. But explain um, the reason, like how you got it. So um, I got put the decimal point and then moved it three forward. And then as it was um, before the zero, I need to put a zero before the... Why decimal. you kept zero in front of uh, point four to five? Then your answer will be like 0.425. That's all right. But why you have written 0 0.425? Yeah, it's 0 0.425. Then uh, is this incorrect? Yes. Is this incorrect? No. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No. Yeah. Wait, it's not incorrect because the zero doesn't matter because it doesn't have any value. So it doesn't matter if you put, but normally you would put a zero just to make sense. It's amazing. Very good reason. Now do Is this. it correct? Yes, you got it correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This time you have four zeros. Come on, go ahead. Oh, I think I know. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, okay. Okay, 0 0.032. That's all? Yes. 0 0.032. Five, five and five. Why you hate five? Why are you forgetting five? <laughs> all right. No problem. So yes, your answer is correct. Again. Yeah, because you need to put two zeros. Perfect. You have to balance the number, the fractional part. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. So you know how to convert decimals into fractions, fractions into decimals. Yes. Okay. So now we will go with the addition of decimal numbers. Okay. Oh, I think I know how to do that. I think so. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Okay. Five point nine nine nine. Very nice. Very good. That's all. So you just need to line the decimals. Correct. Subtraction of decimals. Subtraction. Now, subtraction of decimals. Subtract okay. 42.555 42. minus 3.5. Okay. Forty-one point zero five five. Forty-one point zero five five 
Yes. Did you get correct? Yes. Let's check. What is the point five 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 three point five? Wait, no, I did not. Yes. One sec, sorry. Ah. Uh. Thirty-four point zero five five. Thirty-four. Yes. Are you sure? No. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah, uh, why am I getting? Do I need to do subtraction to you, like grade one and grade two students? No. Thirty-nine point zero five five. See, you got. Three answers for one question. <laughs> you should get only one, right? How you can get three answers? All right, but anyhow, you got correct answer in your last item. Please be conscious. All right, mm -hmm. don't travel to different places. Be in your place. Okay, now one more. Yeah, okay. Um Why do I keep on getting the answer wrong? Uh be focused. Minus four point seven is um five um sorry it's taking time in just one question. No I just keep on getting the answer wrong. Ah uh, no. You can just, uh, you know, take your own time, but make sure you're doing correct. If you don't know how to do it properly, then you can take my help. I'm here to help you out. Okay, just let me know your answer. I would like to listen to your answer first before I tell you how to do it. You may get oh. correct as well. We're not sure. Um, Fifty point five two. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at that. 
right? So two will be two because we don't have any number yeah. there. So here, if we look at this, the above number is smaller than the below number. Yeah. This part, right? What we have to do in that case, we have to borrow one, then it will be 12. Which 12 is five. Minus seven. Yeah, five. This one point, this one point. So here we have three. Yeah. We have to borrow one again because three is less than four. Then it will be 13. 13 minus four. Nine. And here we have four. How we got 15? You should get 49.52. Uh, I did the um, carrying diff, um, wrong. Yes. Now is it clear? Please correct your yeah. answer before we proceed with any other question. Do slowly. I'm not keeping any time limit for you. All right? And feel yeah. free to ask me if you don't know. It's completely all right. Okay? I don't punish you, right? <laughs> I don't give you extra homework. I don't give you a lot of tests. How good I am. So you can feel free to ask me. <laughs> yes. Have you corrected your answer? Yeah. Let me give you one more for your practice. Okay, so it's something point seventy-nine um and five three. Okay. Um seventy Three point with thirty five point seventy nine. 
35.79. You have to read in that way. Yeah, 79. That's correct. Okay. Very nice. Very good. You took a bit time, but it's completely on there. Because you got okay. the correct answer. When you do yeah. practice, then you can increase the speed of your dedication. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe I took just in one question so much time. No problem. So in operations, we have completed addition of decimals and subtraction of decimals. Now we have to do multiplication. Decimals. Yeah, I'm not so good at that and I don't know. No problem. I'm here to tell you. If we multiply this, I think you can do this, right? No? Uh, yes. Okay, do I need to know your answer? And first write down heading as multiplication of decimals instead of doing the question, okay? Okay. Twenty one point zero, so um twenty one. All right, let's check Did you get correct or not. Mm -hmm. In here. Yes, twenty one. Let me give you a bit difficult question. I mean, tricky question, I should say. Oh, nothing seven. is difficult, right? <laughs> <sighs> One hundred and thirty, um, and eighty eight. Okay, means one thirty point zero eight eight, or uh, yes. What do you mean? Wait, um, three. So yeah, one thirty point zero eight eight. Yes, correct. What's the time? Oh, okay. Nine more minutes. Wait. Oh, I, told later, you right? I, I mean, on. I told you to wait 10 minutes. I thought we were going to add it on to the... Shall we continue for 9 more minutes? Um, I also need to eat. Okay, okay, fine. No problem. Let's end the session now. So in the next class, I'm going to teach you how to multiply the decimal numbers if you have decimals in the... Or what do we say in the multiplier place as well? So far, we have done the decimal numbers multiplication where we had decimals in multiple ten place. In the next class, I'm going to teach that along with the division of decimals. And many more concepts are there to cover. We're going to cover them all in our next class, tomorrow's class. Tomorrow will be science class, right? So we will be able to complete math. We will be discussing about the skeletal system. If we complete skeletal system, then I will be teaching you muscular system as well. It's based upon okay. time and you know your grasping power. Yeah. Okay. So see you tomorrow. I will be sending the ID. Join on time. And if you uh, be late, then let me know on WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Have a nice Thank you. day. Bye bye. bye, -bye. You too.